Welcome back to part four of PowerPoint module two. We will be picking up where we left off on PowerPoint module two, page 49. We'll start by selecting slide four. Let's add another shape. So insert shape. I am going to choose under the stars, the seven point star. Now click here to add it and then resize it to be three by three. Drawing tools format tab. I'm coming over into my shape style area. I will choose the fill arrow and I'm gonna actually fill this star with a picture. So let me choose picture. It's gonna ask me where I'll get that picture. I wanna get it from file. And now I'll navigate to the place on my computer where that picture is located. There it is, my light bulb. I'll click on it and I'll choose insert. Now let's change our shape outline. So drawing tools format area in my shape style area. I'll look at the shape outline and I want to change the weight to six points. So I'll come to the weight and change that to six points. And Now I want to change the color of that outline. So still on my drawing tools format tab in the shape style area, I'll click on the shape outline button again and under standard colors, choose green. Then one more time, I'll go back to the same place, drawing tools format tab, shape outline. And here is where I will change the outline style. And I want the round dot outline style. And then I'll come back up to my Drawing Tools Format tab, Shape Style Area. This time I'm going to add a shape effect. It's going to be Glow, and I want it to glow 18 points. Now let's look at rotating this shape. So while it's selected on the Drawing Tools Format tab, in the Arrange area, I have a Rotate button, and I want to rotate it to a specific angle that is not 90 degrees. So I have to go to my more rotation options here. And here I can type in a specific amount. So negative 15 degrees, that will turn it sideways. And then also I'm gonna click and reposition it up here like it looks in the picture in the book. Let me come up and add a slide title. So the title for this slide, manage your energy and then I'll come back to my first slide. We're going to add and format another shape. I'll do this one a little quicker because it's a review from what we just did. So we want to insert a rectangle, top corner snipped, and I want it to be 2.2 by 2.2. Then I want to fill it, so Drawing Tools Format tab. I am looking at my Shapes Fill area. I want to fill it with a picture from my file. It's this house picture. I'll choose it and click OK. Then I want to give it an outline. So I want a three-point outline, and I want the outline style to be square dots. And I want glow for my shape effect, glow, 11 point green accent two. I want to rotate my shape, drawing tools format area. This time it's 90 degrees, so I can use my left 90 degrees, but then I want to come back up to that same button and flip it horizontally. And then I need my ruler and my grid lines and my guides because now I want to position the rectangle so the bottom corner is at the intersection of six inches to the right of center. So I need to find my grid line, which is right here. All right, six inches to the right of center and three inches below the center. We want to align the bottom right corner 
of that with those grid lines. Now I'll go ahead and hide the ruler grid lines and guy. I'm almost done here with my slideshow. I do want to add a footer. So that's under my insert tab in the text area, header and footer. I want to include the date and time, but I want it to be a fixed date. So I don't want it to change every time I open it up. So I want it to say October 1st. I want to include a slide number and then I want a footer information like a footer title. So we'll call it Greener Street Corporation. So now I don't want to show on the title slide. I'll click apply to all and it will apply that footer to all my slides except the title slide. Now it's time to add a transition between slides. So this is how slides move from one slide to another. There is a transitions tab that I can choose and a transition to this slide area. There's a more button and I have lots of different styles of transitions. In this case, I want the box transition. So I'll choose that. It'll give me a preview of it, but now I want to change it a little bit. So I'll go to my effect options and I want this box to come in from the top. So I'll choose from top. I want it to take three seconds for this to happen. So I'll type in three here. And I'll click my preview just so I can see how it looks. Here it comes in from the top. And if I like it, then I'm going to apply it to all my slides. Now my PowerPoint is complete. I'll hit my slideshow and show you what it looks like. And there we go. I'm done. I look forward to seeing you in class.